Hi. So, um, I wanted to make a video about something that really annoys me with quite a few pagans. And that is Christian bashing. I've seen more and more of it lately, and it just drives me nuts. So, yeah, among other things, I have this um, contact on Facebook, and she just keeps anything that makes fun of Christians, she is gonna repost, including things from atheists that bash all religion. So that she'll even uh, agree to call all religious people, and that includes pagans for evil, insane idiots, and so on, as long as it's Christian bashing in it for her. And, um, and while that is one person, I've seen it with a lot of people and in a lot of pagan books. Christians are bad, Christians are intolerant, yada 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 yada. Now, Yes, some Christians are intolerant, and it annoys me just as much as everybody else when you meet Christians who want to uh, prevent people from practicing uh, other religions than Christianity, Christians who want to butt into people's lives and prevent, for example, gays and lesbians from getting married, uh, preventing science from being taught in schools, and so on. I don't like that. However, for every rabid Christian who go around and say that everybody who practice any other form of religion, including other types of Christianity than the one they themselves practice, are evil and they are devil worshippers, for every person that's insane like that, you have a lot of Christians who are nice, kind, decent people, and they don't deserve that kind of negativity. There's a saying that says, two wrong doesn't make one right. And I agree with that 100%. So, yes, there are intolerant Christians, but that doesn't give pagans the right to be intolerant towards Christians. In return, in addition, it just feeds the circle of hate, because then you have moderate Christians who picks up a pagan book, and they see Christians are intolerant, Christians are evil religion, and all that things that people say. I like one pagan I know who says, no, uh, Christianity is a soulless religion that... Uh, uh, is uh, just the instrument of evil, which is exactly the same that Christians says about, well, some Christians says about pagans. And the problem is when moderate Christians then read this, they feel insulted and then they have a much greater chance of being intolerant towards pagans again, and the cycle go uh, and the cycle just repeats itself. So. When I bring this up, many say, but the Christian said so and so to me, and a Christian person said this, and a Christian person said that, yeah, but how long are you going to feed into that vicious cycle? How long until you say, okay, yes, there are Christians that treats me with disrespect, but I'm better than they are. I'm going to treat people around me with respect and understanding. There are this idea among some people that if anyone within a group treats anyone with disrespect, then they don't deserve respect themselves. I meet this um, attitude very often when I defend Muslims. With Oh, but if you lived in Iran, you would have to wear a headscarf and uh, you wouldn't be allowed to practice your religion freely, so why should we allow them to practice their religion freely? And 
it's such a stupid argument because If you're gonna live by that kind of logic, then the hate and the it, it will never end. Because, yes, there are people who will all treat you with disrespect. But if you respond with disrespect, especially if you respond with disrespect towards all people who somehow fall into the same category as that person, then that will just continue. Each person has the opportunity to say, no, it'll stop with me. So, yeah, I think it is very dishonest and very hypocritical to uh, complain that um, Christians are uh, treating pagans badly when people then turn around and treat Christians badly in return. Now, am I a big fan of uh, extremely conservative Christians who think every religion but their, mm, their religion and, ironically enough, their little tiny subgroup of Christianity are evil? No, I'm not a fan of that. However, first of all, I recognize that there are a lot of different kinds of Christians. There's not just Christians, end of story. And some groups are a lot more tolerant than others. Secondly, the way I see it, I can't control who disrespects me and my religion, but I can control who I disrespect. So while I might debate with such a person and point out where their assumptions are wrong, and at times I might even lose my temper, I do not think it's okay to then go turn around and go against every Christian. Because every Christian isn't guilty of what some Christians do. And I think that when it comes to tolerance and understanding, the only way to increase it is A. Knowledge and B. Being met with understanding. Now, in my opinion, Christianity is a good religion. It's has a lot of very good elements and I think that there are a lot of good advice for a good living to be found in the Bible. Now there's a lot of things in the Bible that I do not agree with and I am not Christian myself and I couldn't really imagine becoming Christian because there are a lot of things in the Bible that to me is wrong. However, I recognize people's right to live this way and I also recognize that their choice to be Christian is no better or worse than my choice to be pagan. I think that there are not one road to divinity. I think that the divine source, whether you see it as uh, see it as the Christian God, or if you see it as the God and the Goddess, or if you see it as pure energy, or however you see it, I think that that divine essence will find a way to reach each person, but I don't think there are one road to that energy, that divine source, that will work for everyone. And I think that each religion is a different language to speak with the divine, so that for some people being Christians are the absolutely right thing to do, it is what makes their soul blossom, while for other people being pagan.
pagan is the right uh, thing to do for some people being Muslim is the right way to go to develop their spirituality and I think it's important that I think it's important to look at Christians for what they are. Now, of course, outright intolerance is not good. And I think that then they are in the wrong. But like, I uh, had a very nice discussion with a um, Protestant priest when I went to an alternative fair. And we got into talking about uh, religion. And she... Um, said that of course she didn't agree with me that there were various ways to the divine and i recognize her right to feel that and her right to feel that the best thing to do for me would have been to become christian and i think that it's important that if you're going to respect the religion you have to respect it on that religion's ground so I respect Christians' right to think that their religion is the only way. And I know that uh, most religious people don't have the opinions that I have. That, um, that there are no universal truths, only individual truths. And how shall I put it? I think that the important thing is that to know that respect and tolerance isn't in trying to see a thing as close to your point of view as possible. It is to recognize the other person's point of view and disagree with it if you want, but respect their right to have that point of view and their right to live the way they want. And I also think that if another person will not show you that same respect, that isn't an excuse to disrespect that choice for others. So, yeah. Christians, at least most Christians, will not think that being pagan is a good thing in itself. Some Christians, of course, doesn't care, they don't think that the religion is the only way, but most Christians think that Christianity is the truth. And to respect Christians, you have to accept that part of the religion. Now, of course, what you do not have to accept is when they say you are a Satan worshipper, you are evil, you are immoral. For your uh, for your opinions but I think it is important not to judge every Christian because some Christians have those opinions I think everybody has the right to have their own opinions their own religious views as long as they don't try to force it onto others so yeah I guess I just have just made this little rant because I am so tired of seeing the Christian bashing in pagan books, pagan websites, pagan online forums and so on. Because A. It only breeds more hate. B. It is just in extremely poor taste. When we ourselves is complaining that we do not have enough understanding. And C. I think it's important for each person to find the spiritual path that is right for them. And Christianity is one of those paths that is very important to many people. Now, of course, I'm not saying that you shouldn't argue your point or stand your ground and Christians accuse you of being a Satanist, accuse you of horrible things. But don't bash all Christians and the entire religion because there are some people who have views stuck in the Middle Ages. So yeah, 
that is what I wanted to say, so have a great day. Blessed be and goodbye.